Okay. So a lot of fucked up shit has been happening with my chest area lately. Uh, folding some laundry because I'm probably gonna pass out after I do this. So might as well do what I was. I don't know. Do this at the same time. Sorry, I just took like a couple Tylenol pants. Anyway, so lately, like I've been having binder issues really bad. Uh, mostly because my binder is like not really been working too well because I've had it for like six or seven months and like I don't know I think they're supposed to last like three months or something I don't know like like I don't know it it works but like not really because like I like hardly ever pass anymore like it really does just look like I have like really small female breasts Instead of like having really big pecs, I just look like I have titties. Anyways, it really sucks, but I've just been like wearing hoodies, like, which sucks to do in the winter. I'm not like, I'm not binding right now either, so sorry for the bad angle and the bad hair. I don't really give a fuck. Anyway, so all that's been happening. But like, it sucks because. Today, like, okay, I got up early to, uh, go to breakfast at a hotel, you know, get the free breakfast. Me and my friends snuck in in our pajamas, got some free breakfast. Anyways, like, so we were eating breakfast, and, like, I went back to Maria's house to, like, go back to sleep or whatever, and, like, started having, like, these weird pains, and at first it was just a stomach ache. But then, like, I couldn't really sleep, and, like, it just got worse, and I was like, I think this is chest pains, and, like, I wasn't wearing my bind or anything, but, like, I don't know, it just started suddenly getting worse, and I don't know, it just, it got, like, really bad, like, I would, like, fall asleep sometimes, like, I would have to, like, lay on my side or, like, curl up really weird, but then, like, I'd wake up, and, like, eventually I was just, like, laying awake for, like, an hour, like, having no idea what to do, like, I was just like, oh my god, like, I've never been in this much pain, like, I almost, like, cried, and I was just like, what the fuck do I do, because my parents are camping for the whole weekend, so, like, I text my mom, I called her, she didn't answer, so I was like, well, what the fuck do I do, and, like, I was at Maria's house, no way to, like, she doesn't have a car, no way to get home, so finally, I was just like, fuck it, and so, like, I got up, and I just, like, put on a wife beater, a t-shirt, and, like, another shirt, and, like, uh, a vest and then like a hoodie I just like I just put all my stuff in like my bag and I just walked home even though it takes like two hours to walk home and it was like really hot like I was in so much pain I thought I was gonna like throw up and or pass out but I was just like I just can't be here like everybody's sleeping and I'm not sleeping and I'm like in this pain and there's like no painkillers and, like, I mean, I'm sure I could have, like, went down to Maria's mom, like, who lives downstairs and, like, woken her up, but I'm not gonna do that, so, I don't know, so I just, like, I was like, fuck it, so I just, like, walked home, and, like, I looked horrible, because I was, like, bending over the whole time, and I was just, like, had this full look on my face, I was just like, ah, and, like, I just, like, that kind of sounded perverted. Anyways, and I was just, like, moaning and groaning, and, like, every time, like, I had to cross the street, like, I would just, like, sit down, like, by the pole and just, like, press the button to cross the street. Oh, my God, I looked ridiculous. Everybody was just kind of, like, staring at me, like, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? And so, finally got home, and, like, I take off, like, a bunch of my clothes, and, like, my clothes are soaking wet from all the sweat, and I just kind of, like lay there and I'm just like in pain like screaming like literally that much pain like I have not been in this much pain like the only other thing that's been remotely close to this is when I got in a bike wreck and I bruised my rib cage for any of you who bruise your rib cage pretty fucking horrible like I can't even imagine what it would be like to break your ribs that must be like the worst thing in the world like just to breathe would be horrible Anyways, so, I was just kind of, like, doing that, and then I was, like, 
and then I got up and got like this, what is it? Where'd it go? I don't know, this polar frost shit. It's like pain relieving gel, cold gel, kind of like icy hot without that hot, I guess. And it's like, provides cooling pain relief of minor aches and pains of muscles and joints associated with simple backache, arthritis, strains, bruises, and sprains. Anyways, I think I used it when uh, I did bruise my rib cage. And so, like, I just, like, put a bunch on, and, like, it started stinging. It was horrible. I was, like, none of the pain went away, and, like, it was just, like, this sting. Like, it was just, like, worse. And I was just, like, ah! It was horrible. But then, like, I took some Tylenol, and then my lady called me. Well, I called her, but she didn't answer, but she called, like, back at two, min two minutes later. And, like, I just, I don't know. I guess, like, well, stuff kind of still stings, but, like, I think that, plus the Tylenol, plus talking to my lady, like, I don't feel shit now. Like, half an hour ago, well, probably an hour ago, I was, like, fucking about ready to die, and now I'm, I feel fine. I'm kind of a little tired, because we don't have any real painkillers, we just have Tylenol pin. But, I don't know, this just really sucks, because I, I just can't go anywhere out in public without a binder. So I'm probably gonna have to stay home for a few days, which is fine, because I've been doing that lately anyways, but, like, I just, like, reconnected with Maria, like, we've just been, like, just today, we just started hanging, well, yesterday, we just started hanging out again, and, like, I don't want her to think that I'm just, like, not gonna talk to her again, like, I wanna hang out with her, like, not every day, but, like, you know, a lot, especially because she's gonna be moving away. But, I don't know, I might just, like, fucking suck it up and just, like, I don't know, wear, like, a really tight shirt and just a hoodie and just, like, not give a fuck because, I don't know. I don't really pass anyways much, so, and I've, like, I've been mistaken for, well, not mistaken, but, you know, I've passed as a man, like, before I ever bounced, so, fuck it. I'm probably just gonna go out, like, I mean, as long as the pain doesn't come back, I guess I could just take tunnel PM and just, like, be tired. Because so I'm pretty sure I could stay awake right now. But I'm probably just gonna sleep until my lady calls me. But just thought you should know. I don't know, like, why I ran it about that, but I'm in a lot of pain and my binder doesn't work. Two of the worst things that could possibly happen to me. But I'm still pretty happy because I got my lady, got my best friend. I'm doing things in my life, I still don't have a job because I'm a bum and a horrible person, but I'm fucking happy. I hope you guys are feeling good too. Sorry for the eight minute rant.